The overall goal of this procedure is to assemble a high-temperature functioning lithium-ion battery that utilizes a non-flammable, thermally stable phosphonium-based ion liquid electrolyte containing lithium bis-trifluoromethane sulfonamide. This method addresses key challenges in the high-temperature energy storage field, specifically the safety issues with the use of conventional electrolytes in lithium-ion batteries. The main advantage of this technique is that it provides an approach to synthesize and characterize thermally stable electrolytes and to construct high-temperature functioning lithium-ion batteries. Though this method provides insight into rational design of ionic liquid electrolytes optimized for lithium-ion batteries, it can also be applied to supercapacitors and other energy storage devices. Generally, individuals knew this method struggle because the measurements must be taken under inert atmosphere with extremely dry materials. Visual demonstration of this method is critical, as introduction of ionic liquids into batteries is challenging due to their high viscosities. In an argon-filled glove box, use glass pipettes to dispense 8.3 grams of trihexylphosphine and 5.22 grams of 1-chlorodecane into an oven-dried heavy wall pressure vessel containing a stir bar. Cap the vessel with a PTFE bushing and stir the mixture under argon at 140 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. Remove volatiles under vacuum at 140 degrees to obtain crude monohexy 10 chloride. Extract the monohexy 10 chloride into DCM three times with 10 milliliter portions of a one to one mixture of DCM and brine. Remove volatiles from the DCM phase to isolate the monohexy 10